All right, here we are, boys and girls. I was asked to do a yellow cover contest by Mark Allen and Roger Perez or the Metarog or Full Color Commentary. So uh, this was too easy. I have too many. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do some uh, honorable mentions real quick because it was, like I said, just too many comics to do. So we have Prize Comics 10. We have Slam Bag Comics number one. We're going to get some slabs going in here. We have uh, Little Orphan Annie's Junior Commandos, four color comics, number 18, that's 1942. We have. Voodoo Comics number 19, last issue, January 56, Matt Baker cover. I remember these are just honorable mentions, like I said. Uh, there was just too many to do. It was too easy. There's so many cool ones. Here's Black Knight number one by Toby Press. Hey, Harry, what you doing over there? He's hanging around. Come on, man. Okay, we have Magic Comics, number 21, April 41. <laughs> we have two of those. Remember, this is only honorable mention so far. Oh, shoot, we got another Magic Comics, number 9, 1940. And then, last for the honorable mentions, we have Tip Top Comics, number 54. First cover appearance of the Triple Terror. And last cover appearance. I think there's one. I have another book that they're on the cover, but this is their only cover appearance in Tip Top. Original Dell superheroes. They were brothers, each with different skills. And they put on costumes, and they fought crime. Okay. All right, so those are the honorable mentions. Tell me what you think so far. I have to say, those are some pretty killer books, people. All right, let's start out with slabs. We got 10. We're going to work our way down. So number 10. Ranger Comics, number 38, December 47, with a hanging bondage cover. Let me get a better look at that. All right, what's next? We have another slab for you coming up. This is, and I think I'm going to bust this slab open soon. I want to read this book and just touch it. CBS 1.5 Restored Amazing Adventure Funnies number one. This is a centaur comic. One of my few. I think I have three, four maybe at most at this point in my career, my collecting career. Number one, Amazing Adventure Funnies. Restored copy, yellow background, just a really cool. Check out the color of that cape. So that's from 1940. And that's number nine. Okay, um, two more slabs. Oh, shoot, I messed up. Hold on, people. I'm going to show you how I messed up. But this number, this next slab number, what is it? Number eight? Number seven? Wait, we got it. Okay, this is number eight. And because I had an extra, I, I, I messed up, oh, people. I have, uh, I'm going to make my number seven the same comic. How about that? So one restored copy, one unrestored. Ah, no, qualified. I'm sorry. This is missing <clears throat> one fifth of a page, and it affects the story. But I fought. I fought to get that in an auction. I forget what I paid for it. I just love that Golden Age trope where the superheroes are really gigantic, and the the criminals or the villains are small. I think Jerry Robinson started that in the Batman title. So that's number seven. Number eight and number seven. 
Cracked. Cracker Jack Funnies, number 34, 1941. Wow. We can make it past 42 in this video. Uh, okay, last slab in the countdown. We do have a 1948 Batman Christmas cover. 3.5 CBCS. Uh, Pat, a Catwoman appearance in this one. Obviously a Christmas cover. Art by Charles Paris. Story by Bill Finger. I was able to pick this up for $200 on eBay. I couldn't believe it. So there you go. That's a very killer yellow cover. Very presentable 3.5 too. All right, so that's number six. Is that right? Or no, I'm sorry, that's number five. Number five, we're done with the slabs. We're moving on to uh, Superman. Number 57, March 49, with a nice Lois Lane cover. I did soak this cover. Looks very nice. It's a 1.0 with detached and split cover, but very clean. Actually, I think I can do some more cleaning on this book. So that's Superman 57 from March 49. And this issue, Lois, Lois Lane, can do everything Superman can do. And there you go. Women's Live, 1949. All right. Moving on. We got four left. So here's number four. Miss Fury, number seven. Miss Fury Comics. What is this? 1946. I'm not sure who does the cover. Just a gorgeous book, though. Look at that. Very beautiful. Let's take a closer look. Miss Fury, number seven. What do you guys think of this one? So far, or what is your favorite yellow cover that I've shown? Harry, let's tickle his feet. All right, number three. Yellow cover challenge number three. We have a beautiful copy of Police Comics number 96. First appearance of the Black Widow in Quality Comics and her last appearance. Very great story. She gets killed at the end as she tries to shoot plastic man with a poison bullet and it bounces off him and it goes into her great art oh man i forget who does the art in here uh, jack cole art and there is a copy of this on ebay right now for 29.99 it is very low grade but guys this is a great great story black widow is a great character i mean go ahead and pick it up Press it, fix it up a little bit. $29 is not a bad price for this book. I paid $125 shipped for this one here. So that's number three, Police Comics, number 96. November 49. Okay, we'll get down to the nitty-gritty. Number two is a Macro Boy cover. Captain Midnight, whoa. Captain Midnight, number 18. What year is this? Beautiful Nazi cover. March 1944. So let's take a closer look at it. Look at the detail right there. It's a gorgeous book. I saw this on eBay, and psh, you I, you never see this book for sale. I jumped on it right away. I figure what, I, what did I pay for this? Of $112, so that's a pretty good deal, I think. And I did read it. It's really good. It's really... Look at that cover. It's just gorgeous. All right, number one. Now, they didn't do these in a particular order to make them better or whatever. This is a cool book that I found on eBay. It's a definitely a golden age. It's 1946. This is actually published by Interfaith Committee uh, stores, and it's... Uh, some uplifting stories against race and prejudice and other forms of fascism. So it's called The Challenger. And you can see it's July, August, September 1946, number three. Now, this is a really scarce uh, series. The first two issues are super killer books with, with horror monsters on them. Man, if we could just find those. I've never seen them for sale. So Challenger number three for 64 pages of thrilled-packed ac action stories. 
the challenger. So what do you guys think of my yellow uh, challenges, my 10, my, my honorable mentions? Like I said, yellow covers, one of the easiest ones to do. There's tons of them. I, I had a lot more to show. All right. Well, that's all I got. Hope you guys have a great week. Take care.